What's your secret to losing weight? Let's talk about it. What is going on guys? Back with another video. So today we're actually going to be doing something different. This is going to be a series that I'm starting called Let's Talk About It. Where basically I'm going to be picking like popular statements or questions that I see being brought up online and pretty much just yeah talking about it giving you guys my personal opinion and overall thoughts on the subject so for today's video we're going to be talking about the secrets or secret to weight loss is there one secret is there multiple secrets is there even a secret so that's what we're going to be talking about today so yeah if you guys want your question to be the next one that's featured on here go ahead ask me them on instagram comment them on my photos or dm me them and yeah, you could be the next question that we talk about. So when it comes to losing weight, it's pretty clear, or at least should be clear, that in order to do so, you need to be in a calorie deficit. And what does this mean? It means your body needs to be burning more calories than whatever it takes for your body to maintain its current weight. So how do you do that? Either you're gonna eat less, you're gonna be more physically active, or do a combination of both, and that'll get you to lose weight. But that's not what today's video is about. Today's video is about the mental aspect of the weight loss, people who don't want to have to you know eat healthier eat less or work out more be physically active and basically just want an actual shortcut to getting results and to losing weight and getting their dream body so i got this message on my instagram this guy said hey good evening can you tell me your secret on losing weight i want to be down in weight but it's super hard help please all right so like this is a message that i've seen multiple times before and people are just you know trying to look for shortcuts cheat codes, easy ways to lose weight and basically get hard results without putting in the hard work that those results will take. So, you know, when it comes to this, all I'm going to say is if you're looking for a cheat code or like some secret easy method that's going to get you to lose weight, going to get you your dream body, six pack abs, whatever it is, there isn't one. There isn't one thing that's going to get you out of the, the next guy that's putting in constant work. There isn't one like secret pill or secret method that you don't know about it's just it's a constant grind that's really all it is it's constantly putting in the work constantly you know being able to push forward every day even on the days where things go bad you're still able to progress and move forward from it and by doing so by putting in that effort and by being disciplined you will see the progress you will get to your goal or closer to your goal and before you know it the results will be coming in so there's no secret to weight loss, there's no cheat code, there's no one thing I can tell you that's going to make you, you know, fast track your results and get way ahead of everyone else. But if there actually could be one thing that I could consider a secret to weight loss or the best thing you could really look for or look to improve when losing weight, it would definitely be self-discipline. So being disciplined is something that's like extremely important in every aspect of life. So whether that's for losing weight, you wanna get your dream body, or you wanna get rich, you wanna get your dream job, whatever it is, like self-discipline is the key. That's what's gonna get you to the finish line. That's what's gonna get you to succeed. And that's what's gonna get you pretty much through all the ups and downs that something like weight loss will bring. Losing weight is like a constant process is constantly gonna be filled with ups and downs, constantly gonna be filled with days where you're feeling great and days where you're feeling like crap. But at the end of the day, you just need to keep pushing forward. You need to keep progressing. And what's gonna get you to do that? That's gonna be how disciplined you are, how bad you want it, how determined you are. And yeah, at the end of the day, that's what's gonna get you to your goal. Staying disciplined, getting more disciplined, and just be, be, be willing to do what it takes to get to your goal, you know, like it's hard. It's not easy. I'm not going to lie. It's not easy. And even when you lose the weight, it's not easy because you, now you have to work on keeping that weight off, right? So if you're not ready to put in that work that it takes, if you're not willing to actually, you know, commit and just realize you're going to have to do things that you don't want to do, you're going to have to, you know, go through uncomfortable situations, it's not going to happen. Like that, that's just the matter of the fact. And listen guys, when I say to be disciplined and to put in effort, that doesn't mean by doing that, things are always going to be going your way and it's going to be a smooth ride and you know, it's going to be an easy process where you're always going to be succeeding and this and that. That's not what being disciplined is really about. What it's more about when I say that is like being able to push through both good and bad. So being able to have weeks where you lose three pounds and everything's going great and you're like, okay, this is good. I'm going to keep this up. 
Uh, I don't need to uh, treat myself and, and, and overeat and do dumb things to ruin my progress just because I lost three pounds. But also, at the same time, being able to gain three pounds and, you know, not be doing so well and be like, you know what, this is cool. It's, I'm going to get right back on track. I'm going to keep going with the workouts, keep, keep staying right with my diet and, you know, just adjust. Just don't let it affect your end goal. That's, that's what being disciplined is about. It's being able to experience both the ups and the downs and still move forward from them and not let it affect the whole end goal and not let it make you throw in the towel and just give up on everything just because you had a bad time here and a bad time there because that's going to happen like I'm not perfect none of us are those times are going to happen we all screw up there are multiple times where I'll miss workouts multiple times where I'll eat like crap I'll binge eat and I'll do things that I shouldn't be doing but what sets me apart from people who didn't end up reaching their goal, didn't end up losing the weight they wanted to lose, and those who did, is that I actually kept going. I, I was disciplined enough to let things that I didn't want to happen to me happen and still be able to move forward from it, still be able to be like, okay, that happened, what's next? Like, we're gonna keep going, we're gonna get right back on track, and it is what it is, you know? It's not something where, like, you're gonna eat like crap, you're gonna miss workouts, and then you're like, oh, man, I missed a workout, I missed, I eat like crap today, I might as well eat like crap for this whole week, not go to the gym for the next week, and just pretty much end up giving up on your whole goal. Like that's, that's how it happens, right? Because if you're not reaching your goal, it's because you gave up, it's because you quit, because you're not disciplined. So that's the main thing I'm trying to emphasize. If you wanna lose weight, that secret to weight loss that's gonna get you to the end is being disciplined. You have to be able to go through the ups and downs, go through all the good and bad that comes on, on the journey, and just pretty much trust the process because that's all, all it is really. It's a constant process, man. Shout out Joel Embiid. That's what it is. It's a process and you have to trust it. Like I'll constantly have obstacles come my way and things not going the way that they're supposed to be going. And you know, like there's really two ways to go about it. Number one, you could, you know, let it affect you, let it get to you and just completely change your path, change you wanted to lose weight to you just giving up and going back to your old habits. Or you can let it, you know, drive you, let it, like, use your weakness to push you forward. Like, learn something from it, get stronger from it, and keep going forward from that. So if, if you gain three pounds, be like, okay, what did I do wrong here? Did I even do anything wrong? If not, keep going. If you did do something wrong, look, evaluate, see, see what you could do better, see what you could be more disciplined at, and let that drive you going forward, let that make you turn into a stronger, more resilient person. You know, that's, that's what's going to keep your progress consistent gonna keep you succeeding and keep you thriving so like guys I'm telling you I was knocked down so many times and I still get knocked down so many times when losing this weight like so many times things will go completely wrong like terrible like I'll have days where I'll literally just be in bed all day instead of working out and I'll be eating like complete crap instead of eating how I'm supposed to and those days are hard like it's a hard thing i understand why people you know give up on their weight loss because like stuff like that happens and it's discouraging but that's where your discipline comes in that's when you need to realize okay this happened but i can move forward from this i can use this time of weakness to grow to to get me to be stronger going forward and just to learn from it you know so if i eat like crap if i miss a workout if i gain three pounds in a week i'm gonna i'm gonna look at it and be like okay that happened what can I learn from this? What did I do wrong? What can I be more disciplined at? And just use that to drive me and make me a stronger person going forward, you know? Use that to make me more disciplined and just more mentally prepared for the next time something like that happens. Like missing a workout here and there or eating like crap here and there, whatever it is, that's not what's gonna make you fail. That's not what's gonna stop you from losing weight. What's gonna stop you from losing weight is letting like that setback or those setbacks create more setbacks. Like, are you gonna let that happen and then be like, okay, I'm disciplined enough to really just move on from this and keep working and get back up? Or are you gonna let that really just completely knock you down and just be like, all right, I give up? And that's what most people do. That's why most people fail to lose weight. And if people do lose weight, they'll gain it back because they can't keep up with the constant grind that it takes to keep your body in shape like that. It's a constant uphill battle, that's what it is. And if you're not willing to put in the work, if you're not willing to make the sacrifices necessary, that's gonna show. Your, your results are, are gonna disappear. Your results are, like, you're just not gonna progress. So that's why it's super important to be disciplined. Be constantly working on your self-discipline 
and that's what's going to get you to succeed in losing weight and really going to get you to succeed in life in general like once you're able to master your discipline for like weight loss and be able to actually endure tough times like that and go through it and come out on top that's going to help you with other aspects of your life too like it's just a good habit to build to be disciplined and be a mentally strong individual that's what's going to lead you to success not some not some magic pill or some detox or whatever else you guys see online like none of that's going to give you the longevity you need to lose weight and keep it off what is is how mentally strong you are your mindset and how disciplined you are that's the key discipline you have to be willing to keep pushing forward constantly despite what the outcome is despite if it's things are going your way or things aren't going your way that, that you still have to perform the same if not better you know you have to be constantly moving forward now whether you force yourself to be disciplined or it's some traumatic experience in your life or maybe you get diabetes and that's what causes you to be disciplined that's all it really is at the end of the day you need to be disciplined you need to be willing to commit and sacrifice and just put in the effort that it takes to reach your goals and like i feel like oftentimes people confuse discipline with motivation now those are two completely different things Discipline is like what you absolutely need and motivation like that can be useful as well But like they shouldn't be mixed up. They're two separate things and what your focus should be on is You know your self-discipline constantly trying to improve how disciplined you are Rather than your motivation which also can be helpful, but isn't like something that you should be Looking for to lose weight solely like I constantly see people being like how do you stay motivated? How, how do you uh get more motivated to lose weight and like motivation isn't what you need what you need is discipline motivation can help motivation and discipline together can work really well but at the end of the day what's going to keep you going when you're not feeling motivated or you're not feeling like you're ready to to you know succeed or ready to do things that are going to get you closer to your goal that's that's all discipline right there so that's what you really need at the end of the day like it's easy to keep going and keep losing weight and killing it in the gym when you step on the scale and you see down three pounds or you look in the mirror and you're looking nice you can tell that you're looking better like it's it's not it's not too hard to keep going when that happens but what's gonna happen when you gain three pounds what's gonna happen when you look at look in the mirror and you're bloated you ate like crap you missed your workouts that's where discipline comes in that's where you need to absolutely you know come like from within you need to be able to find your discipline to keep you going and and not let that set you back further than it needs to all right guys that pretty much wraps up the video thank you for tuning in to episode one of let's talk about it if you guys enjoyed the video leave a like comment future video ideas and subscribe turn the post notifications on because i am uploading every single week and also let me know if you guys want to see a video on ways that you can improve your discipline to help you stick with your weight loss or even a video showing the differences between discipline and motivation. Because as I said, they both have their advantages. They both can be valuable. But they're two completely different things. And your focus should be on the discipline. So if that's something you want to see a video on, let me know in the comments down below. Always looking at video suggestions. So yeah. Other than that, uh, if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, at Omar Thar Fit, I'm active on there. And I also dropped a free ebook for you guys if you didn't know already. It's on my top helpful weight loss tips. It's like 20 of them in total completely free so if you want that just go on omarthaher.com click the link in the description and yeah you can get that sent to your email for free so hopefully i can help you guys out with losing weight and yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys next week peace